I, I got a spinning rod in the boat now. It's, it's, yeah. true, it's a true story. It's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, um, with that being said, I want to have like a John Cox wacky rig ready to go in the rod box of right. the Crestliner. All right. What's right. what? What is that? What's the? Give me your setup from the rod and reel to the line, to the hook, to the bait, okay. to the weight, whatever. T- tell me, and okay. I know it's well, on it, other platforms, the, the, but I'm asking. Right. I mean, the one I cannot live without is a uh, a seven foot Fantista, a Boo Garcia uh, spinning rod uh, with a uh, Revo. Uh, is that a medium? The uh, medium. Yeah, yeah, I like the medium. So I'll actually change it up. I'll use the medium um, if I'm throwing uh, a number one, and if I'm throwing an eight pound, floor one hundred percent fluorocarbon leader. Okay. Uh, to four to like four six eight pound uh, fire line, I'll use the medium, and then well, I'll I'll up it when I use the medium heavy. I'm gonna have uh, you know eight ten pound fire line. I'm going to have a, a 10 pound, 100% fluorocarbon leader. Um, and I'm going to put a bigger, like a one ot finesse wide gap hook. Um, and then, I mean, I, I am, I truly love the Max Scent Generals. There's uh, something about those are, that Max they, Scent. Man, geez. they are, they are incredible. I mean, when I'm catching a fish and, and one jumps and throws it and slings it off, I don't know how many times I've seen another fish come up and eat that worm before it sinks to the bottom. I mean, they just love it. It's, and uh, I would probably have to go with uh, a five inch, uh, either in baby bass or uh, I, I've really been throwing straight black a lot, you know. And it's uh, you, you can't go wrong one for real two. in any yeah. watercolor. I, 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 yeah, same deal. I throw I throw the black dolphin, but the so mm-hmm. you you said medium heavy when you go to the ten pound leader. On yeah, the rod? When I go when I up the braid a little bit. I go it a little bit. The one ot s wide gap instead of a number one um you know and then i might also the medium heavy sometimes i'll just rig it texas rig um and put like a 1 16th on the front of it um you know and throw that around a lot too oh do you mm-hmm. okay so that's straight like just it, rigged vertically yeah 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 and i mean it, and that's like when you're getting around you know if i'm getting the hung up with the wacky a lot that's an off go to the texas rig and, and, and you just, like the you know, fire line it super simple you you like the fire? Uh, yeah, I, I I love the fire line. I mean, it is it has been my favorite forever. Um, I mean, I think I've used I've used fire line since I started fishing. <laughs> so I mean, it's yeah. I I mean, it, it, obviously, it's always it's, it's never let me down. So I mean, it's just it is by far my favorite. So you're using again as your let's say main line is what mm-hmm. pound test fire lines? Uh, on the medium, I'm using uh, four six sometimes eight that's so light uh, on though medium, on the medium heavy i'm using uh eight to ten but correct. It, it is but it's it's it i mean fire line's amazing line i mean it's it's probably i mean i think it's some of the best line ever made um you know but the whole I mean, but the breaking strength of the fire line is still like similar to the breaking strength of the pound test isn't it now nah, you go, you go i mean go i know tech somebody. i know i mean yeah. Believe me, I know this stuff's I've, tough. I've honestly, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever broke off uh, eight pound fire line on anything ever. That's awesome. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it is, it is good stuff. So I, mean, I got the uh, new X nine stuff. I'm, I'm anxious yeah, X, to try X, that X on the spinning. Too. Yeah. yeah, that's what I use on, mo- on almost all my bait casters. Uh, the nine or the five? The, uh, the the five and some on the nine. Like I like throwing my top water on the nine. Um, but I like swimming my jig on the five. So, gotcha. Okay. Well, like, so, yeah. so the, why would why do you like swimming a jig on the five as opposed to the nine? Um, well, well, so I feel like the five, uh, is, is, I mean, believe it or not, like I, I really truly believe that the, the five has less straight stretch than the nine. Um, wow. And it, it's a little more sensitive than the nine. And like, the way you can tell is when you take the braid in both fingers, and you go to un, un uh, unravel the uh, the the way it's wound up. If it's spongy and you actually see it come unra- unwound like the nine, um, it's not going to be as sensitive as the five. You know, and the five is uh, woven a lot tighter. 
Gotcha. So uh, why am I using the nine on spinning then? Like, why did I get so? But the nine casts further. Uh, It's smoother. Nine is smoother. Uh, Okay, that makes sense. One hundred percent. Gotcha. Yeah, nine is one hundred percent smoother for sure. Okay. Um, I just I like. I like my, a lot of times I, those fish come up and get the jig and like I, all I'm feeling is them pushing it, you know, coming underneath it. And that's why I really like the five for that. 